I have a Trader Joe's haul to share with you guys. I'm actually going to be giving you two grocery haul videos this week. Trader Joe's first, just because it's a little smaller. I'm doing the intro and outro, and I've already filmed the other one. I went to Walmart, well I had Walmart delivery, and then I went into Target, and those are both in the same video, but they were like hours apart from each other, and I haven't finished that one off yet. I still have to film the whole hello and goodbye a portion of that video. So you guys are gonna see Trader Joe's first, and then in a couple days, you'll see the Walmart and Target haul. So let me take you guys down to my counter or table, really. Um, I will be popping up individual prices. The total was right under 130. That was with tax included. So you guys will see how it all adds up though with those individual prices. Let's get to it. So here we've got our little spread here. And not much. We actually went into Trader Joe's for one item. They're all natural shaved beef steak. I love this stuff. I'm making some Philly cheesesteak bowls for Mark and I for two different lunches this week. And then Bryce really loved the Philly, actually I don't remember what it was called, steak sandwiches or something like that that we made for dinner last week or the week before. He really liked it, so I'm gonna make a, ver a version of that for him as well. So I picked up two of the all natural shaved beef steak packages. Then Rose went in store with us, and Mark actually is the one who pointed these out to her, but the milk chocolate peanut butter cups, went ahead and picked these up. She loves Reese's peanut butter cups, um, but this will be for all of the kids. So got those. This is one of my favorite breadsticks, the Trader Joe's garlic and cheese breadsticks. We are having lasagna soup for dinner tonight when I'm filming this, which is Sunday. Um, so I thought these would be really good to go with that. The one item Mark asked to put in the cart <laughs> are the Driscoll strawberries. We have just a few left over um, from last week. Actually, I don't think I bought them last week. I think I bought them the week before. There's like two or three left and they're pretty sad looking. So went ahead and got a new container of the strawberries and Driscoll's, they always look really, really good. So pick those up and then whenever we see like new things, new fruits or veggies, um, the kids like to give them a try and they do love grapes and we just saw that these were honey pearl, of course, with Pearl's name on here. Um, Rose and I were like, let's go ahead and grab these. They are really tiny, so I bet they're super sweet. But we went ahead and picked up these honey pearl grapes. And then I haven't picked up snacking tomatoes in a little while for the kids, because they weren't eating them. So Rose was like, let's go ahead and get some. These are the heirloom medley cherry tomatoes. So I picked that up, it's just for snacking on. Also, you know, with Rose being with us, she picked up a couple things that she really likes. She loves turkey corn dogs. So I got this pack, I think there's four. Yeah, there's four in here, so the turkey corn dogs. And then she also asked to get these mini pancake puffs. So they're maple flavored mini pancake puffs. I don't know if, like, how much is in here. I feel like I've picked these up before and I don't think it makes, oh, it makes. 13 is a serving and there's two and a half servings. So that's enough for all the kids to have, um, but it'll be like one and done type of breakfast, but that'll be a good. We are going to have pizzas next weekend in our little pizza oven on our back patio. And I do have a couple of these in the freezer, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough, especially if like extra kids were over or anything like that. So I did go ahead and just pick up two more of these ready to bake garlic and herb pizza doughs. And that way we are set for next weekend. Also, Rose spotted the chocolate ice cream. So we, we picked up the ultra chocolate ice cream, super premium. And this is a really big one. It's a quart, so all three of the kids will share that. That. The kids like hash browns, so I picked up the shredded potato hash browns and I can just whip these up for breakfast one or two mornings. This will be more than just one morning, I'm sure. Then this is something we also pick up pretty much every time we go to Trader Joe's and I just, I don't have this on plan for anything. I'm just gonna stick it in the freezer, but it is the unexpected cheddar chicken sausage. There's four links, so I did go ahead and pick up two packages. I think these flowers are so unique looking. I have never picked them up before, and I don't know if it's, so it's premium pro tea or pro like te, tia, I'm not sure, but how I read it is pro and then tea. Um, but they are very fragrant and they're just so unique and 
cool looking. So I picked up two bundles of those or bouquets um, to put in a vase in my kitchen. And then I saw this and they had several that were already blooming. I got one that wasn't blooming so we could, you know, watch it as it grows. But these are really fragrant too. So I went ahead and picked it up. I thought it was really cool that you could see the roots here in the glass, but it is a white hyacinth. Is that how you say that? I know, I don't know anything about flowers or plants. I'm really surprised the one that I have in my kitchen, the little plant is still alive. So uh, I've had it for months now. All right, this is something else Rose picked up. I'm pretty sure the last time I went to Trader Joe's, she got this hair serum and she really likes it. So she asked if she could get it again. So this is the Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Serum. Helps tame frizz and add shine. And then she saw that they had a mask, so she picked this up as well. It's a Shea Butter and Coconut Oil hair mask. Bryce really likes the pancake bread, so I picked up the pancake bread for him. Then I saw these little like dog treats, so I picked these up for Oliver. They're rawhide free peanut butter flavor retriever stick. There's 10 sticks in here. Rose asked to get some of the ooh, popcorn, so we got the white cheddar naturally flavored corn puffs. Then with Pearl in mind, I'm not sure if Bryce likes this type of mochi or if he likes the ice cream mochi, but this is not ice cream. It's just like a little gummy, but it's the brown sugar boba mochi, soft and chewy rice cakes with a gooey boba pearl center. So I went ahead and picked this up with her in mind. And then Mark and I have one more week on the reverse where we're eating extra calories, focusing on strength training, just getting strong, giving our metabolism a break. And then we're going into another shred where we don't have as many calories and we're you know, actively trying to lose weight. So since we went to Trader Joe's, I was like, let's get our Cinedragons. <laughs> so um, these are our favorite. We absolutely love them. So I picked up a bag for me and a bag for Mark and we'll just eat on these over this next week. We might not even track them in our macros. Who knows, probably won't. We'll just eat a few every night and use the next week to finish these up before we go into our shred. But that is everything that we picked up from Trader Joe's. So like I said, I am gonna have another a grocery haul with more. This was kind of like when I go to Trader Joe's, I do get some stuff if we're like out of anything that they have because they have produce and everything, but really it's for like specific things, our favorites um, and extra things that we just find that we wanna try out. So Trader Joe's is always like a specialty store, but for Walmart and Target, um, that was the bulk of what we needed for our meal plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new so you don't miss the next grocery haul that will come out in a couple days. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.